Hey everyone, this is Joe with Southeastern Frontiers, and today I am hiking on the Borden Creek Trail in the Sipsi Wilderness. And I am hiking today with friends. <sighs> In this video, I hike the Borden Creek Trail in the Sipsi Wilderness of Alabama with Jonathan, my wife, and some friends. We started out at the Sipsi River picnic area and headed north under the road bridge onto the Borden Creek Trail, also known as Trail 200. We passed by several small waterfalls before reaching the junction with Trail 209. Here we continued north on the Borden Creek Trail through beautiful forests and past numerous small waterfalls and side canyons. At the halfway point, my wife and Jonathan turned around and returned to the car while the rest of us continued on up Trail 200 to the giant wall in the Fat Man Squeeze Cave. After passing through the cave, we continued on until we reached the post-apocalyptic bridge over the Borden Creek. Here we stopped to take a look from the bridge before climbing back up out of the canyon to the parking area on top of the ridge. This was a beautiful early spring hike with wildflowers just starting to burst forth. This is my top recommended trail for beginning hikers who want to experience the Sipsi Wilderness. So we've just barely gotten away from the parking area and we've come upon our first waterfall. This is why the Sipsi is so amazing. Little waterfalls like this just everywhere. Waterfall number one. <laughs> There's a really nice trillium down here. So spring has sprung. A couple other little flowers. There will be more here in the next couple weeks. Violet. Rock overhang number two. Not as much of a waterfall here, just a trickle. Another big rock overhang. Little water dripping. So cool. There's a lily, I think, right there. Very nice. Yeah, another week and the flowers will really explode. Ah, yeah. oh, that's pretty. We have come to the intersection with trail 209 right here. 209 goes across the Borden Creek over there and up on the other side. The last couple times I've hiked this trail, this is as far up Borden Creek as I went because I crossed here, but I'm not gonna cross it today. That might be a little damp. Yeah, 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 yeah. The ladder's under the water over there. <laughs> Very nice. So out here in the creek, you can see the difference in water. The, the water coming in from the Sipsi Fork over there is cleaner 
um, than the water coming from the right here on the Borden Creek. It's muddier. And so you can see where they're mixing there. So that's the Sipsy Fort going off that way on Trail 209. We're going to continue up the Borden Creek here on Trail 200. More pretty violets. They are gorgeous out here. John and I were reminiscing that one time this was really muddy and slick and I slipped off the bank over there and fell down into this. <laughs> Doesn't look so bad today though. <laughs> You're all smiles. <laughs> They come a lot bigger. A lot bigger. That's a small one. Going up a little side canyon here. A little trickle of water. Another little trickle over there. I love the forest right through this section. It is, doesn't feel like Alabama. It's just beautiful and cool. Feel like you're up north somewhere. So the very first time Jonathan and I ever went backpacking, this is where we camped, right here. <laughs> Gonna have to go down and visit. Haven't been back in a very long time. So there's a nice little creek running by here. It's a lovely campsite. And there's another one right across the creek over there. And there's more down the trail a little bit. And I think up the side of this trail, there's some, uh, there's some nice uh, water running. When they were on the way there, they were like, oh shoot, we don't have any food. And so dad's like, I'll stop at the store and you can go in and like get some food real quick. And so they stopped at this, like, like the camp store. Uh, uh, well, it's not really a camp store. It's like this, like, gas it's a gas station, station themed store. And then on top of that, it just, um, so then we just picked up these uh, Funyuns and they just went in and they got Funyuns and they got like cream soda and they just got like maybe another <laughs> snack food. And that was, that was all they got. That was all they got for their weekend they camping trip. The door and, you know, kept going. <sighs> oh, they kept going. And wow. I said, didn't you stop? I was like, well, I thought they had actual food. Like, the last time they had, had the police, what they were buying. Yeah. Oh, no. So there's actually two waterfalls up this little side canyon. There's one right here. I love that tree growing on the rock down there.
Uh, that's the second waterfall at this side canyon. Very nice. You like it? Yeah. That's a pretty nice one, isn't it? It's a pretty nice waterfall. Yeah, I bet you could really make noise here, huh? <laughs> Think you could really make noise here? Huh? <laughs> You're looking a little sleepy. My favorite are the coffee clouds to generate coffee clouds to generate coffee clouds. And then they're like, well, we don't want to have to, you know, make the person edit. Pretty flowers. All right, we have come to a creek crossing. I was kind of thinking with all the rain we had, we wouldn't be able to go any further than this. But it looks like people cross on the log over there. Or you can hop rocks, whatever you wish. But we may just turn around here. One of my favorite campsites is actually right here on this flat area um, by the creek here. Beautiful campsite, stayed there many times. Um, just beautiful. All right, so we decided to split up. Jonathan's gonna go back and take our car around so we can make this a one-way trip. And we're going to uh, keep going up the Borden Creek Trail. Let's see if uh, how wet I can get here. So many of these flowers, just beautiful through here. You see them all over. Wow, this is pretty. Nice cliffs. These start to get really cool along here. Big tree down across the creek there. There's a very nice campsite here in this little cove along this old dead log. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. I don't think they have any problem with you taking walking sticks here. <laughs> Another lovely little waterfall.
It's pretty good. Yeah, we are coming up on the Great Wall. Look at that. So we're on the dry side of the drip line here, so this clay doesn't wash away. Out there, the drip line has washed it away. <laughs> uh huh. There's a distinct ridge here, yep. All right, so this is a major, uh, a major milestone because that is the cave, the fat man squeeze in front of us that we got to go through down there. So, um, all right, we can rest in a little bit and you might want to take the backpack off. I have to take mine off. I can't get through with the backpack on. So, yeah, it's a squeeze and this is the big end. All right, this is the fat man squeeze. Anyone in there? People are coming on the other side, but I think I'm going to go through. <laughs> all right. Going to have to put the camera away because I need all my hands. Make it? Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. All right, the way out's over there. There is a window up here. That's a little light in. But we go out underneath the waterfall up here. So let's see how that's going. That's not too bad today. Mm -hmm. So what'd you think? Mm. Think you liked it. There's the post-apocalyptic bridge, so we're almost to the north end of the trail. A lot of water in the Borden Creek today. All right, the sign says Trail 200. We have just completed the Borden Creek Trail.
And this is the old trailhead here. Once upon a time, you could park your car right here. But not anymore. We have a little bit of a road walk yet. But we'll go take a look at the bridge. Post-apocalyptic bridge on the Borden Creek. <laughs> the Forest Service sign is in sight up ahead. Woohoo! It's quite the climb. You'd think a road walk wouldn't be so so difficult. But when it's right at the end of a hike like this, it hurts. Forest Service sign. Yes, is John here? I don't see him. Huh. He should have been able to beat us. All right, we found Jonathan. He was in a, he was hiding behind a pickup, <laughs> but he was here at the trailhead, so we're all good. And uh, thanks for coming along with me today. It was a great hike. Catch you next time.